apps or get drunk in a Hey baby, what do uh, you think? Hi. You show uh, me now. Ew, what the fuck is wrong with you? Melons for melons, darling, come on. Excuse me. I'm oh, sorry, I forgive you. Um, just don't do it again, alright? Sure. <laughs> Let's get this. Yeah. I spoke to a famous seduction guru who's been in the industry for more than 10 years, and this is his preferred way to start a conversation in a food store. So if it looks like it suits your personality, you can do it, but otherwise, there are other ways to start a conversation here, so it wasn't the only correct answer. Yeah, I'm just doing the big shop, got some healthy food. Doing, mm -hmm. uh, I like to cook a lot myself. Hey, that's great. Do you as well? Or... Yeah, I love cooking. Mm -hmm. What's your absolute favourite dish to cook? My favourite dish is uh, tacos, love that. Tacos. So you must really like um, fucking Hispanic men. Is that why? Burritos uh, and tacos. That doesn't have anything to do with tacos. Well, it does. It's the land of tacos. Well, everybody Hispanic can have men. tacos. You're, so you're appropriating their tacos for yourself, but you don't fuck the, the Hispanic men. Uh, this is such a weird conversation. <laughs> Puta cabrona. Bendeja! Tacos, for real? Oh, yeah. I would have thought, you know, you'd be into more healthy food. Yeah, but tacos is also healthy. Yeah? It is. Hmm. Not the best option, it's not funny, it's kind of judging, it's, you know, it's not great. So yeah, should have done better here. I used to eat out a lot, but I really got into cooking because mm -hmm. You know, you can choose the ingredients yourself, so you know exactly what you're eating. Like yeah. you could get organic stuff or, yeah. or whatever. And yeah, it's just really fun, the whole process. Yeah, I love cooking too. Yeah, why? What do you like about it? Um, but it's just great. You can do whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And you can be however healthy you want to. Do you like to cook healthy? Yeah, I'm super healthy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much always. Sometimes have pizza or ice cream or chocolate or something like that. But yeah. Like 95% healthy. Mm -hmm. But you gotta treat yourself too. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Oh, life is so hard, so hard. Uh -huh. I've just got so much money and I just try and buy stuff but I still have more money and I just... Can you give me some ideas of just how to just spend all my money because I just got uh, so much? That's a little braggy. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's so good. Just being so rich. Just 
buy anything. I don't care. Money doesn't buy you happiness. Money doesn't buy me happiness, but my money bought me my dolphins, and they make me happy because they're wah, 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 and okay, doing all this stuff. They're amazing. Uh, but the dolphins aren't your friends. Dolphins aren't my friends, is correct. But that's why I've got prostitutes because they are super friendly. I tell you. Um, but the prostitutes, they won't love you. They do if you pay double. Okay, this is ridiculous. Ridiculously rich, babe. <sighs> And girl doesn't like money, so weird. And so you're cooking, 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 cooking for a boyfriend? Um, that's not really your business, but uh, no. No? So you don't have one? Or you just don't cook for him? No, I don't have one. Ah. It's way too soon to show this level of interest and it's also putting too much pressure on her because think about it. If she says no, she doesn't have a boyfriend, she knows that that's opening the door for you to then try your luck with her and maybe even showing that you know she's interested when she might not be. So yeah, it's just putting too much pressure, too soon, wrong time and wrong way to do it. I noticed you've got an accent. Um, where is it from? Is it uh, Norwegian? No, I come from Sweden. Ah, close by. Yeah, I live uh, very far. North I wonder if she's fucked I PewDiePie. Have, uh, uh, lots of snow and a lot of nature. I love it. It's really great. Mm. My name's Richard, by the way. Oh, uh, hi, nice Emma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I'm English. Oh, cool. Do you know any Cockney rhyming slang? Ah, uh, Cockney rhyming slang. Um, no, I don't think I know any. I'm, I'm uh, from the, the different, like South London. Oh, uh, okay. Well, don't worry about it. You know, loads of people, um, loads of Swedish people live in London. Did you know that? So many. Yeah, a lot of my friends do. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Maybe we've got some in common because I used to be friends with a lot of people from the Swedish school. It's somewhere, oh. I don't know, in West yeah. London. Yeah, and maybe. Yeah. But what do you think about the stereotypes about Swedish people? Do you think they're true? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess. I think a lot of it is true. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like what? Uh, for example, we fuck like bunnies. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Swedish, do you know what that means? That Julian Assange thing, okay, but the main thing is the reparations for World War II because you've got all that Nazi gold from the Jews and I've got lots of Jew friends, so oh. I think you owe me some reparations. Uh, I don't think I owe you anything. Or you're anti-Semitic. No. But, good news, I can tell you don't have much money, so you can just give me some sexual reparations. Um, we, we accept those as well but now. No, thank you, for pistish. Why are you doing the Nazi salute in the shop? Oh, um, I'm not doing that! that no! Is, no I've I'm telling that, you man. to go to hell! Well, I don't know what you do in your Nazi stuff, but that was awful. You said your name's Emma, right? Yeah. But, you know, when I meet new friends, I like to give them nicknames. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, so you're a girl, you're called Emma. I think Dickless is a good one. Dickless? Yeah, Dickless. Because you're uh, a girl. Yeah. So it's not offensive. Yeah, but it's a little bit weird. Dickless? Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, I'm sure that you have a very tiny dick. Nah, I got yeah. the original Jamaican long uh. dick. You don't know. Baby girl, you're bomba clot. You know, this is strange. I don't normally meet people in the grocery store and don't oh, really? chat up women in the daytime and stuff. Yeah. Hey, but you're doing fine. Oh, yeah? 
Being too indirect too long is obviously bad. So if you've been talking to her for five, 10 minutes and you're still talking about food and stuff in the shop, then that is not the way to go. Uh, this is quite bold, but it doesn't put her on the spot too much. It's showing interest and for her to give acceptance, she doesn't need to say anything. She just needs to give passive acceptance that she's fine with it to continue. Anyway, I'm just gonna go do the rest of my shopping. Oh. I've got a question. Listen, mm -hmm. what do you prefer? Um, I like that one. The zucchini. Zucchini. zucchini that, yeah. that is, I'm sure. I was sure you were going to like that. Mm -hmm. But check it out. Do you remember when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Here comes the aeroplane. Oh my Open. God. Open. <laughs> she hit it. Oh, well, don't rush away so quickly because you know what? Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? Never going to believe it. Yeah? Definitely okay. never. You are the last item on my shopping list. Look, read the shopping list. Oh, Check it really? Out. Okay. Look, um, I didn't touch it, right? No. Pili nuts? Pili nuts. What else? Black garlic. Yeah. Oh, that. Okay. Uh, Buja Buja ice cream. Yeah, got that. Kombucha. Yeah, got it. Golden kiwi. Yeah, they're tasty. Uh, coconut kefir. Yeah, that Berries. One. Yeah. And a little blonde one with major yeah, boobies? That's just you, you're right what here. What the fuck? It's perfect. We can't be perfect. Oh, you're the only one. Little blonde with major boobage. Oh, mission complete, so close. Oh, don't rush off, yeah? We were having such a nice conversation. And I was going to ask you, what do you think of maple syrup? Are you a fan? Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of everything sweet. Yeah, but agave syrup is not as nice, is it? Um, um, no, but everything is good, I think. You know what's the best? Honey. Honey? Yeah. yeah. Like a good uh, wildflower honey. Very nice. Probably. I just have regular honey. <laughs> no, it's always from so like Linden or like they'll say, you need to eucalyptus. Okay. Yeah, uh, usually it yeah. says where it's from. You, mm -hmm. you going down there? Yes. Oh, going me too, me too. Let's mm -hmm. go down here. Get some porridge. Yeah. Your, uh, hey, let me see that. It, it's so heavy. Look. Oh. Let me let me be a gentleman. Here you go. Put it in. Sure. Here. We just shop together a little bit. It'll be fun. This is usually just going to be very annoying, so it's best not to do that. You want to learn to read the signals, and you can notice, for example, if a woman is standing and talking to you and crosses her legs, that kind of means that she's committed to staying there. Whereas if she's looking at the place she wants to go, if she's turning her feet, if she's backing away, if she's nodding quickly, and hundreds of other ways like that, you can understand that maybe she's not interested in continuing the interaction. So, do you like clothes shopping? Yeah, I do actually. I like to buy online mainly. Oh really? Yeah, Me too. It's faster and um, like I know what I want. I just want to go get it and yeah. Yeah. I know yeah, my size great. so I don't need to try stuff on usually. Yeah, it's great. And usually there's a discount. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So what, what brands do you like? Oh, I like a lot of brands. I like uh, Guess, mm. Levi's. And also this brand, uh, Super Dry. I love that a lot. They have so cute. Super tops. Dry. Last I hope that's not about her pussy. Super small one. It was super super cute. Do you know who you look like? You look like Elizabeth from Seven Deadly Sins. Do you know uh, that? No, I don't know about that. Ah, it's a manga. Yeah, you look like her. Okay, and cool. Because people say I look like Dreyfus, the other guy. Dreyfus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is he a player? A player. Yeah, you're kind of a player. 